Hello guys, it's uh, Lynch Gore here. Hey. Um, we're making a taco salad tonight. My buddy Ty suggested making this cooking video, so I was like, alright. Um, this won't be a regular thing, unless you guys take it well. So, um, just let me know if you guys enjoy it. Uh, yeah, I was going to go live on YouTube and do it that way, but uh, YouTube wouldn't let me. I don't have a thousand subs, so they were like, no, fuck you. You know, so I was like, all right. Um, so I'm recording it on my gallery, my camera. Um, but I'll post it to YouTube as soon, soon as it's done. But anyways, it's a taco salad. And it's really simple, but really, really good. Right now, we got the meat. Right? So it takes the meat, and you just brown it, whatnot, cook it up real nice and neat. Right, and then you want to spread that, you know, like make sure it's all getting cooked in a spot where it can cook. Okay, so then while the meat is cooking, you grab your other ingredients, your cheese. We like the Fiesta blend, some lettuce, and some Doritos. Yeah. So then while the uh, meat is, you know, browning, you can crush these up, just keep them in the bag and scrunch them up. You want them like crumbs, but like, not crumbs crumbs, but like small enough, like bite-sized. And then you add the lettuce and then the cheese once it's all done. I like to honestly add the cheese before I add the lettuce. Um, this way the cheese melts in the meat, you know, and it, it's cheesy. Because I feel like when it's mixed with the lettuce, the lettuce is cold. So it doesn't want to... Um, melt as fast or as much with the lettuce that's why i keep it with the meat first and then i add the lettuce on top um i'm not going to drain the, the fat either like all that stuff you're seeing like that's that's what's going to keep this meat moist it's going to keep it hydrated and full of flavor and you also need taco seasoning mix um let me show you which ones i got if i can find them i don't remember where I, oh here they are I like to get the uh, taco seasoning from Taco Bell. It's amazing. Um, it, it's really good. So that's one I like to get. Uh, they got multiple flavors though. Uh, they got like fajita crunch or some shit, something like that. So you can go to Walmart and pick them up. They're like, that one was like 76 cents for, for one. So I was like, yeah, fuck it. Um, so, um, yeah, I got a other Apex video that I just uploaded earlier, so if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. It's not my best one, I'd say, but um, it, it's a video, you know. Um, yeah, the next one will be better, I promise. There will be a lot better um, sound effects and um, whatnot. Like, I'll add a lot more magic to it soon, so... Don't worry about that. I'm sorry if it's like shit, so, um, yeah, I don't know, you know, I just want this channel to grow. I appreciate all 110 subscribers that took the time and subscribed to my channel. You guys are what make it, what, you guys are what make my channel what it is. So, and I say that all the time, like every stream I say that countless times. Um, cause it's true, you know, it's without subs, you know, without people taking time out of their day to watch your channel. Your channel doesn't go anywhere. So the fact that you guys like my channel, you know, it makes me feel really good about the future. Uh, if I do choose to pursue this, um, shoot, honestly, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's, it's a lot, you know, there's, there's going to be a, if I choose to do this full time, you know, or not full time, but you know, if I work on it over, you know, over time and then do it full time, I want to know that you know, there's always going to be people to support me, you know, stuff like that. Um, and you guys are laying down the groundwork for it. Like, you are boosting my, my channel, kind of, you know. The more viewers I get, the more my, my channel gets featured on YouTube, stuff like that. Uh, I, had a, I had a streamer, not a streamer, a viewer the other day on one of my streams that said um, he found my channel as he was scrolling through YouTube. So I'm like, wow, okay, YouTube's recommending my channel. 
So, but you guys are, are what's making that possible for me and for us. Like, we're growing together. This is a together channel, you know. That's why I ask for you guys' feedback. Like, if you guys don't like this cooking segment, that's fine. Let me know. I'm not going to throw a bitch fit, you know. Like, your guys' support, you know, and opinions are very, very important to me. Um, so, I mean, this isn't, this channel I, I care for, you know. Like, I go to work and I'll come home and... I'll make time to stream, even if I have to stream from 10 to 2 in the morning, you know, like, I'll do it. If it means that you guys, you know, are happy and you want to see Apex videos or Titanfall 2 videos or whatever, you know, I'll, I'll freaking do it. You know, I want this channel to grow, prosper, get better, and you guys are making that happen. So I really, really appreciate you. Um, just let me know how this video goes, you know, I can't see the screen right now, so if some of the shots are bad, that's why, I'm really sorry, I can't go live, but I'm doing what I can, you know, that, you know, I mean, that's what we're all doing, so, but I really hope you enjoy it, that meat's almost done, so let's give it another stir, right now you can still see the pink, so, here in a minute I'm going to add the the seasoning mix, but I don't like to add it when the, any of the meat is pink because then it's hard for me to tell if something is raw or not because that seasoning makes it a different color. Like, your meat's still gonna look brown, but it, you won't see the, the pink spots because um, it'll be covered up by all that uh, seasoning mix. So, um, I've cooked since I was 17. Um, given the only jobs that I guess is where I actually, no, I never really actually cooked. I think the only time I actually really cooked was when um, I worked at Buffalo Wild Wings and uh, Brew Cheese. Um, everything else was like fast food, like uh, McDonald's. I worked there for a year and a half and I did Dairy Queen for a few months in the mall. Uh, I did Brew Cheese. I've been to, I worked at Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, uh, shoot, man, where else? Uh, right now I work at the movies because I'm tired of food. Like, I, I wanted something different. I didn't want to wake up every day and like, oh, yeah, I'm cooking today. Woo! You know, I, I kind of lost my drive for it just because I've been doing it for four years. Um, I even went to Job Corps and I got my uh, culinary certificate. So, like, I cooked there, like, all the time. We made, we made, we cooked every night in that trade. Um... I mean, I made crepes, I made desserts, uh, I made my own pizzas from scratch, like literally making the dough from yeast and all these other ingredients and then setting it on top of an oven so that the dough could rise. And then you roll it out and then we had to throw it in the air and whatnot and make it circular. So, I mean, cooking is fun. I just don't want to do it as like a profession. I like what I'm doing right now, video games, you know, that's cool. Um... I enjoy my job right now as well. You know, I like I like the change of, of scene. It's nice. It's what I enjoy. So, um, my job's easy. There's no reason for me to complain about it. I mean, I go there and I serve concessions or I take tickets or, you know, stuff like that. You know, it's, it's really easy. The only times it sucks is when it's slow, you know, because, I mean, you already spend your shift cleaning. So once it's slow, you know, all you do is clean more. But what do you do when everything you need to clean is already clean? Well, we don't know. But um, jobs, you know, they hate it when you stand around. So I try not to stand around. Like, if I even stand for more than three seconds, I already get paranoid. I'm like, fuck, dude, they're already watching the cameras. They see me standing here for more than, you know, three seconds, you know, and... Yeah, oh, I also worked at Walmart, too. I did deli and produce. So I cooked in deli. Um... Yeah, I, I enjoy cooking at home, like for people that I, you know, care about and love and stuff like that. Um, I mean, I enjoyed working at Brucci's, you know, we made some really killer subs there. Um, I think they are the best sub shop anywhere in the Tri-Cities, better than Quiznos, Subway. I mean, anywhere that subs a freaking sandwich, like a sub, the better, better by far. So, shout out to Brucci's. But, um... Yeah, so that's my experience on cooking, you know, like I'm not no professional chef, my brother, 
he's more of a chef than I am. He's actually worked in four to five star restaurants. He's served actors and stuff like this up there in New York. You know, he worked multiple um, chef jobs. Um, he's also been doing some uh, uh, construction work. Like he's He knows how to build a house from scratch except for how to do um, electrical, but everything else he can do. Um, oh, and roofing. He asked my dad about that. So electrical and roofing, he, but he can do everything else besides that. Um, but he's gonna learn how to do it so he can. He wants to build a house, you know, his own house out there in the middle of nowhere, you know, and whatnot. So, but yeah, that's, that's up on me. Uh, that's my history, I guess, with food. But, um, I know how to cook, you know, I know that all the safety precautions and stuff like that, cooking temperatures, storing temperatures, how to store food, stuff like, like everything I've been taught, I remember. So, but if you guys enjoy this, you know, let me know. I'm sorry I talked too much. Um... I had to check this recording. Um, this is like my fourth take. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't really know what to say. I'm talking too much. <laughs> All right. Let's add the seasoning mix. Wee. Damn it. All right. Ah, no. It's hard to do with one hand. Alright, so in the mix, we want to spread that all around. And also, the reason why I kept some of that fat in there, you know, uh, is because it helps mix this seasoning mix up really fucking well. It's like, it's like adding water, but without having to actually go through the process of adding water. You know, turning on the faucet, getting a cup or whatever to hold the water in, shit like that, so... So anyways, I add one packet at a time just because I like to keep track of how much, you know, seasoning is in this. God, I need to turn that down. Jesus, I should have done that like 10 minutes ago. So anyways, see, you see, well, you can't really see it, but that meat looks a lot more hydrated, right? Like, the color's good. I need to still, the dark spots you see on the meat is, uh, too much seasoning on one piece of meat so if you just continue to really spread that out um, it'll all get mixed up so I usually add about a packet and a half I don't go the full two I will depending on how much meat is in this wok but I'm trying to save some of the meat so I want to make a uh, tater tot casserole in the next video but that's I might do that and then I might do this video and then the uh, tater tot casserole video and depending on how you guys react to it that'll determine if I do another one or not and you guys can even add um, add suggestions like videos you want to see like I'm not going to make this like a, a channel it's still going to be gaming oriented but here and there I'm going to add other things to it you know like once in a while I'll do a cooking video, or once in a while I'll do this kind of video, but mainly gaming is going to be on this channel. So I'm not switching up, I'm not, I'm not if I was going to do a, a channel with all that, with a bunch of different kind of shit, then I would make a different YouTube channel and label it as like everything, like not just one thing, but gaming is the one I'm going to be focused on mainly, about 95% of the time. So the other 5% is just going to be all those videos you guys want to see. But anyways, um... That was a way better tear that time. Add a little bit more. And good. Alright. Stir it up some more. Make sure you get all that sauce. It's not sauce, but if it was, it'd be fucking delicious, I'll tell you that. And I'm not used to doing this with one hand. I usually have two. So we add all that. Alright, and now what we do is we will go to the Doritos and we will crush these up. So let me try to portion this up, not portion, configure this in a way. Alright, so open up the top just a little bit. That's just for air to get out. So this way you don't gotta like, you know, smush it all on the 
bag blows, you know. I, I lost my words there for a second. That's why I was doing action. But so you crush these up. whole lot of chips and not a whole lot of meat so, nah we'll be fine go big or go home y'all right look at that epic when you just stir all that around you know make it look good okay And so now, when you add the lettuce, if you don't like wilted lettuce, then, um, which is me, like, I'm not like, oh no, it's wilted, I can't eat it. But, um, it's presentation to me, is what I, is what I've been trained, you know, taught to do since I've been cooking. You know, presentation's everything. It's a culinary art, you know, so, um, not that this food is culinary art, I don't know, but, I mean, it's freaking delicious. Anyways, let me, uh, add this again. So I need to get the cheese. Alright. So we got the cheese. So I'll get back to that wilted lettuce here in a second. I'm adding the cheese to the mix. If you remember in the earlier part of this recording, I said that I add the cheese before the lettuce because the cheese will melt better with the meat, and I can leave it on the burner still without fucking up the lettuce. So now, you just mix this around, get all that heat so that that cheese will melt. So, I guess I did two videos today. That's what's up. Alright. Doesn't make up for my shittier one, but, you know, I'll do a better one here soon. So, let's just mix this all up. It's okay if not everything is melted because as it sits, the heat on it still will uh, melt it. So it's all right. Just like that, just like that. Gotta portion it out so it all gets, you know, well dispersed heat. All right, now we go to the lettuce. But we're gonna move it off the burner if you leave it on the burner, it's going to retain a lot more heat, right? And we don't want that because then it will wilt the lettuce because the lettuce is on a, a warm surface, you know? It's on top of something warm. The lettuce is cool, you know? So, you just open this up. Spread the lettuce on top. One second, guys. Just putting some stuff away. Get rid of some stuff. All right. And so now we added. Ah, oh shit. We added the lettuce. My phone zoomed in. I don't know why it did that. But anyways, you add the lettuce, right? And you want to mix this up as well. God damn it! I need two hands now. Mm. That's why I like the wok pan, because if I cook it in the other pans, I can't stir the lettuce. It sits on top, and I don't like serving bowls to my roommates like like that. You just got all this lettuce on top and all the good shit on the bottom. Actually, if I put it in between, that might be better. Yeah, that's better. It'll move around still, but at least it won't fall back on me. So anyways, you mix all that lettuce up. I'm sorry. I'm not used to recording on this phone. Nice. 
All right, and then after that's all done, you got taco salad. It's better in a bowl. You can also add uh, sour cream, hot sauce, and whatnot. It's pretty good that way as well. Um, I don't, just because I got kind of tired of it after a while, but it's still delicious on its own. Its own texture and taste is magnificent. So I feel like uh, if you try this at home, you would enjoy it as well. So, um, but like I said, let me know how you guys, what you guys think of this segment. So if you don't like it, that's okay. Just let me know so that I know what I, what I should and shouldn't post. So, uh, but like I said, thank you so much again to all you viewers and all you subscribers. All of you want to make this channel what it is. Um, I'm excited for the future and, and the journey that's ahead of us. It's going to be long until we hit a thousand subs, but that's okay. I'm still going to be on as much as I can streaming or making videos. Let me know what you guys want to see. Um, and I'll, I will, I will post it on my channel. So give me your feedback, you know, on anything. It doesn't matter what it is. Just, just whatever I do, uh, on the channel, I want to know what your guys' feedback is. If you like it or if you don't like it, that's what's going to help me get better and our channel grow. So it, it's a we thing, not, our, not my thing, you know? <sighs> but anyways, thanks for tuning in guys. I'm sorry for the bad, uh, camera quality and the director camera director shit or whatever it's called um i'll get better so um yeah i'll catch you guys in the later in the in the next one right. but yeah later lynch mom